here and welcome to the second of my build videos on the Tamiya Grasshopper 2 Black Edition. We'll get straight into it with the uh, parts bag B. Step 6 is installing the servo saver onto the servo and for this you'll need uh, part tree P and for my servo I'm using uh, P5. I've already centered the servo up as best I can but with these cheap servos that I can't get off now I'll put it on um, you can't really get a center perfectly as you can see from that it's off just a tad so I think what I'll try and do is switch everything back on again and try and adjust the trim which isn't easy with these analog For now, I can always adjust it a bit more if I need to. And then we need P4 to slip over. Come on, there we go. And then P3. P1 is oh, a spacer, type stroke washer, and then I've got what I think is BB4, except it doesn't fit. It's not long enough. Hmm. Sure. I'll have to have a look through me uh, spares I think to see if I can uh, find a longer 2.6mm screw. So bear with me folks. Okay so um, this was a second hand servo. I say second hand in that it had previously been in a different car and whether I'd tighten the screw up too tight I don't know but uh, I've ended up having to put a 10 mil 3 mil or 3 by 10 mil self tapper in so that it would tighten up the other 2.6 mils would screw in but wouldn't tighten so Step 6 is done, we can move on to step 7. Step 7, installing the steering rods. Um, I've already put these together because it's just screwing the ball joints in. And with these they're fairly easy. Um, but before we get into it, what I don't like about these is A, how thin the bar is. Can't really call it a bar, it's more like a thick wire. Um, and also, how far in you have to screw these, which isn't very far, which to my mind doesn't give you much steering adjustment. I mean, there's thread all the way down so you could screw it in, but with other Tamiya kits that I've had with this type of spindly steering you inevitably have to unwind it to get a bit of toe in and you can't really do that so uh, yeah something to upgrade as soon as possible me feels um, we've got one-to-one -one diagrams here on uh, 
how far to screw it in and as you can see that's not much adjustment and according to this we put the shorter one in the left side and as you can see from that you grab your steering rod, rod like so poke it through and then you just have to ease it around like that and the same for the right hand side he says doing it completely wrong there we go and that's that bit done and then the other thing is to take the uh, servo mounts and install them and they go like so and you need a BB7 washer and an 8mm screw Step 8, sticking it in the chassis itself, so stay with me folks. Step 8 we're going to do in two halves, first half up the top here is attaching some plastic bits, um, I think there's two here C14 which will hold the battery door on, we've got a C10 here which is the aerial and a C17 here which I'm assuming is for the body so it is just a simple case of getting the correct screw and placing them in so for example this C17 slots in there it is a kind of a loose fit so unfortunately you'll have to hold it while you start to screw the screw in and the screw goes there it's a BA5 12mm screw like so and then we've got uh, C14 which goes in from the underside here and I think yeah it will only go in one way well, two ways if you know what I mean. It's sort of uh, an oblong rectangular shape instead of just a square. And as long as you don't cut too much of the tree off, then it should stay in place better. And then for this we use a BA6 which is an 8mm screw and it pops in that hole there. And we just screw it up like so. And I'll finish that off off camera. Uh, I've also got already put in the aerial tube holder, so that's in. So we just need the main feature, which is the uh, servo. That's the word I was looking for. And I believe it slots in like so. It's going to be a bit tricky this is because we need two BB3s which are 10 mils and washers to go with it. Step 8 complete and I think it's time for the coffee so I'll get uh, the ESC 
and receiver sorted out with some double sided tape and join you in a little while okay so here we've uh, finished steps eight and nine oops pull me a bit of paper down me guide down as you can see step nine is telling you how you can tidy up the cables um, so I've done some of that with the servo and ESC and uh, there we go so we can move on to step 10 and eventually step 11 so step 10 is uh, the rear axle stays and basically it's just putting these springs in and then for some reason I'm not sure why because I've done all the ones like this before and it hasn't but it's telling you to grease these slots but these are basically if we get this back here those slots are just to uh, mount these bits there we go he says might be the other way around it's not going on let's try it on that side yeah okay so it might be just to make it easier to install because that's quite a, a tight fit so we'll come back to that so that's basically step 10 We'll get the bits for step 11 and it should be joining the rear axle stroke diff stroke gearbox to the chassis. We've now got to attach the axle stroke gearbox stroke diff to the chassis and to do that we use the bits from step 10 and again it tells you in the Debris firkin here, we'll just move it up again to grease the slots that they go in as well as the steel bar which I don't know whether they've given it away which says BB10 4 by 95 millimeter shaft insane and for that I've used this WD-40 dry PTFE stuff hopefully I won't get so much dust and grit in it and I would say it's a simple case of sliding these bits on however this side um, it's taken me a good two or three attempts to get this on off camera uh, because the spring keeps falling off so you have to be quite gentle and definitely lubricate that slot to make it easier to slide on and as I say be quite gentle there we go Oops. when you're putting it on you have to get the spring over and then start it sliding in and the spring has just come off oh, okay we'll do it off camera like I say it did take me a couple of uh, attempts earlier but I did manage it but obviously I've got the in front of camera gremlin so I'll be back well that was an absolute nightmare folks but as you can see I've managed to get it all in now I don't know what the hell happened like I say I got it done off camera and just thought I'd show you because uh, it did take me a couple of times and then 
I don't know how many goes I had swapping sides and everything but it's done and with that that finishes parts bag B so I'm gonna leave it there I hope you've enjoyed watching I certainly look forward to seeing you on the next one which will be the start of parts bag C and the upgraded suspension so thanks for watching bye